Hello Cowboys Nation, welcome to another video and without further ado, let's get to another round of news from America's team. Dak Prescott teases potential extension news. Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott gave an encouraging update on his contract situation following practice on Thursday, August 15. Prescott is heading into the final year of the four-year, $160 million deal he signed with the Cowboys in 2021. If Dallas doesn't reach an extension with Prescott, he'll be a free agent next offseason. The Cowboys are also negotiating with wide receiver C.D. Lamb, who has been holding out for a new deal. Defensive superstar Micah Parsons is also on the list of players with whom the Cowboys want to lock in a long-term deal. There hasn't been much movement on Prescott's contract situation, but the quarterback's tone was positive about the latest developments. Good conversations are going on, I will say that, he said. A lot of good things are going on there. A lot of confidence. I have confidence in my guys and these guys getting something done. I'm happy where I am right now and that's really where my focus is. I enjoy being a cowboy, 1000%. I enjoy living in Dallas. I enjoy everything about it. But this is a business. Conversations are going well. But I'm thankful to be where I am right now. Cowboys Dak Prescott do for massive payday. Prescott topped the NFL in completions, 410, completion percentage, 69.5%, and touchdown passes, 36, last season, amassing 4,516 passing yards. He finished second in MVP voting and is in the top tier of passers in the league. Prescott will have multiple suitors if he hits free agency and avoids any major injury this season. The top of the market in annual value is currently $55 million per season, with Jacksonville Jaguars QB Trevor Lawrence, Packers passer Jordan Love and Cincinnati Bengals star Joe Burrow all earning that number. Cowboys Chief Operating Officer Stephen Jones recently said on the Doomsday Pod that they see Prescott as a partner in the contract talks. As you continue to push money out on these quarterback salaries, that money pushed comes back home to roost, Jones said. We look at it like Dax our partner in this. We're trying to win a championship. No one wants to win a championship more than Dak Prescott, I can assure you that. And we don't look at it like we're trying to, you know, pay him not to go somewhere else. Dak Prescott not looking to take discount from Cowboys. The Cowboys should not expect Prescott to take a discount on his next deal. The 31-year-old passer made that very clear with his recent comments. I'm a guy that grew up with two older brothers, Prescott said on Friday, August 2. You understand what a brotherhood means, not only for just this team but the fraternity of the NFL and the players. The money is out there and the money can happen. It can be done. There's ways to make everything work for both ways. That's in that sense it's always about pushing the envelope for the next man. Stephen Jones told Jory Epstein of Yahoo Sports that the goal is to lock Prescott in with an extension by the start of the season. The Cowboys would be playing a dangerous game if they allowed Prescott to test free agency. He said that he has no qualms about potentially playing for another franchise. Cowboys talked to C.D. Lamb's representation Thursday to try to finalize deal. The Cowboys talked with C.D. Lamb's representation over the phone Thursday in an attempt to finalize a deal, Calvin Watkins of the Dallas Morning News reports. The team has offered the receiver slightly under $33 million per season, per Watkins. That would push the annual average ahead of Philadelphia's A.J. Brown, $32 million, but behind Minnesota's Justin Jefferson, $35 million, among players at the position. Lamb is not asking to top Jefferson, something Cowboys Vice President Stephen Jones has acknowledged, but he wants to be in the neighborhood. Lamb played last season for a base salary of $2.52 million and is scheduled to play this year on the $17.991 million fifth-year option. 
He had a career year last year with a league-leading 135 catches for 1,749 yards and 12 touchdowns in earning All-Pro honors for the first time. The Cowboys have not seen Lamb since last season ended as he skipped the off-season program and is holding out of training cap, which now is in its 25th day. CD is going to be ready, offensive coordinator Brian Schottenheimer said, via Watkins. If the system were different, that always adds different challenges. He knows what we do. He and Dak, Prescott, have what I would say 1,000 to 10,000 banked reps together. Cowboys consider trade for $25 million former Pro Bowl playmaker. The Dallas Cowboys may not be done adding running backs. ESPN's Jeremy Fowler reported that Carolina Panthers running back Miles Sanders is on the team's shortlist of potential trade targets. Four-time Pro Bowl running back Dalvin Cook also has an interest in playing for the Cowboys. The NFL insider did not reveal if this feeling is mutual. The Cowboys know they face questions at running back after losing Tony Pollard to a bigger contract in Tennessee, Fowler wrote in an August 9th. They will monitor the Ezekiel Elliott Rico Dowdle Royce Freeman experience, while keeping a short list of external options, just in case. Carolina's Miles Sanders is on that list. And Dalvin Cook has shown interest in playing for Dallas. As it stands, Elliott is slated as the starter, but the Cowboys will manage his snaps. They need Dowdle to stay healthy, McCarthy likes what he has shown in camp. And the team really likes Freeman's tape from the Rams last season and believes he can be an impact RB2 slash RB3 option, a banger in small doses. Ex-Eagles RB Miles Sanders signed a four-year, $25.4 million contract with the Panthers in 2023. Sanders is a familiar face for Dallas as the running back played his first four seasons for the Philadelphia Eagles. The running back signed a four-year, $25.4 million deal with the Panthers in 2023. Sanders' best statistical season came with the Cowboys' NFC East rivals in 2022. The running back posted 259 carries for 1,269 rushing yards and 11 touchdowns during 17 appearances during his final season in Philadelphia. The Cowboys could entice the Panthers to trade Miles Sanders. It remains to be seen what trading for Sanders would cost the Cowboys. Could Dallas land Sanders for a future mid-round draft pick? Sanders is coming off the worst statistical season of his career in 2023. The running back notched 129 carries for 432 yards and a touchdown. The playmaker also added 27 receptions for 154 yards. There's a good chance Sanders will get limited touches in Carolina this season. Sanders is projected to be third on the depth chart at running back behind Chuba Hubbard and rookie Jonathan Brooks.